At Northwest Gymnastics School in New Hope, it's quiet inside. The governor's order forced them to close the gym for four weeks. We'll see. Samir Drowy started his business 21 years ago, a dream now in jeopardy. I've been struggling because people are kind of, they were hesitant. They were afraid to send their kids. We would walk in with our masks on. We would be social distanced. Aria Seni says it's hard not having classes. I have been losing a bunch of skills. It's also sort of her primary source of socialization these days. Liz is one of the parents that chooses to continue to pay for classes, even with it closed. Samir says early on he was able to get a loan, but he's still behind on rent and it's hard to get new customers right now. We do want these places to be available to us when it is safe to return. There is a very, very big struggle. Everybody's worried right now. Shannon Harris, owner of KMC Studios, has been compiling data from 70 dance studios across the state. Safety has been strict from cleaning studios to keeping class sizes to about 10 dancers. We've only had 116 cases breach our walls with the over 12,000 students, and again, the, con the spread was 100% contained. Shannon says out of 70 studios, there have been only two cases with a spread of three or more students in a class with no more than 10. Right now, they're doing classes over Zoom. As an industry, we are not the super spreaders. The dial back is set to end the night of December 18th, but owners worry what could happen if it gets extended. Especially of those little kids. I mean, that's, that's my goal is to keep keep the door open. Whenever I have stuff on my mind and when I go there, it just freeze it and I get to do things that I like to do and it just makes life a whole lot easier. Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News. There is a GoFundMe set up to help save Northwest Gymnastics School. They're also playing an event partnering with Outtakes Bar and Grill. We will put more information for you at care11.com.